let there be light. All right, you guys. So I just punched that hole in the canopy, which was much more full and dense and casting a lot of shade on these guys right here. So there's the Republic of Texas Sweet Orange, and there's this recently grafted pecan, uh, which is an Okani uh, cultivar. And both of these were kind of languishing in the shade, so I had to go up there, and you can see some of the cuts. Um, you know, a couple big cuts there. Um, this whole edge got some big cuts. Um, another big cut um, on those trees, and I'm just about to take out, you see those two right there. I'm gonna take out the one on the right to let more of that afternoon light through. And I thought it would be a cool video just cause, I don't know, there's something about this balance. Like, I didn't want y'all thinking that there's, you know, that it just, garden just happened this way. Or like, there's big disturbances that I make all the time. We make disturbances in our gardens. And um, sometimes it, the larger it is, you know, it can be really, really destructive, but at the same time, it can be really, really productive. So I sometimes come in and I take out entire trees and I take out, make massive changes and dig big things. And it's that earth moving kind of uh, destruction, but it can have a lot of value, especially the more thought out and detailed it can be. So that's kind of maybe a cool a garden idea of that. The, um, the larger the disturbance, the more thinking you know the more nuance should go into it at least um, my opinion but anyway um, these guys are gonna you know really improve I'm gonna cut a little more light I've actually already cut a lot in there and I cut a couple on this one but I might cut a little more and and that's the name of the game now I'm growing out all of these trees you saw like boom 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 some nice you know what I'm doing here I'm leaving these trees for uh, poles for uh, eventually being able to build with. But here's another one that's my next on my list. So this is the density that it would, you know, go to naturally, but I'm not gonna get much yield out of this honey mandarin if I, if I leave the canopy like that. So in fact, this branch right here, that guy, that's probably coming out because that's pomegranate there. You know, there's a cherry of the Rio Grande. There's, you know, this apple behind is getting a little shade. So I can either go cut it back or I can thin out the interior and when it comes to pruning, I'm a big fan of thinning out the interior because by thinning out the interior, it's like more sustainable. When you hack on something, you turn it into a hedge. Hedges are, are thick and dark. So like these trees, you know, same sort of deal. I'm coming in in just a minute to thin out the interior again because it's been done multiple times. But rather than like hacking them back, they're starting to open up and they're letting more light through. And you know, there's fruit set. I get some fruit set on this kumquat near full shade. You see those flowers? Um, I've got some fruit. Well, not much, but there's a couple on this persimmon right over there. So if I go up, sorry about the sun, and I just thin out that upper canopy, if I find a couple, you know, decent cuts to push those leaves out, out a little further, like even this, this one right above my head, that's unnecessary. Um, that can just be the difference. And then they can all coexist in this density you know, that is, is a lot more than what we think is possible. And so in addition to getting some persimmon and some kumquat, I've gotten some, some timber, some potential, not that I would ever take these guys out. They're more of my babies than these smaller ones, but I'm getting some, some potential timber, right? We're stacking functions and here the stacking functions is with the yam, right? So I'm getting some food out of that one, um, but just that you can go in and manage for light. And that's probably the biggest, way that we can manage our food forest is managing where the light is where it goes because it just it takes one little snip and you've you've changed the course and you know privileged one over another favored one over another so hopefully that was uh found some value in that little uh snippet and i'll catch you all next time peace